Graphics. What does that make you think of? Well, for a game dev like me, it means a lot of pain. But this week, I made an investment which will change how my games look forever. For reference, this is how my game looked just one week ago. I made a lot of changes as you can hopefully tell, if not, I just wasted a whole week of my life. In my game, you play as a computer virus that can take control of any robot. Your mission is to destroy them all. This week, I started by remaking the SMG model, which I think looks a little bit better than whatever I made two years ago. And this is when I invested in Substance Painter, which I can use to make really cool textures for my assets. But I didn't know how to use it, so uh, this was my first creation, the most battle-worn cube you've ever seen. I eventually got the hang of it, and I made this as a test. The submachine gun turned out so well, I decided to remake the shotgun as well, and texture it using the same method. And that's when a revelation hit me. All games have you holding the gun so that you can't even see the coolest parts while shooting. They might as well have the player holding the gun like this. So my solution is, drumroll please, to just hold it differently. Bet your mind is completely blown right now, and it actually looks really cool. And just like that, I have innovated more than COD has in the last 15 years. And it looks like Titanfall 2 when you crouch, but all the time. I'm a genius. But the game wasn't looking marketable, I mean enjoyable yet, so I decided to work on the look of the game. I got really sidetracked though, and I found this cool feature in Unity. Anyway, I clearly didn't know enough about this feature because I pressed something I shouldn't have, and that's when I realized. This looks awesome, but I don't know what to do with this look, mainly because I have no idea how it works, but I think I did just invent a new art style. Wow, I'm really pushing the industry forward with this game. Next, I made the enemies burn the retinas of anyone who dares to look at them, and I made the color of them change depending on their health. Just like I had two years ago when I failed trying to make this game. Seriously, what the f- my plan for the robots was to make them sorta of like a skeleton made out of carbon fiber, so I modeled some arms which turned out really well and I added the carbon fiber texture and substance painter. I decided that I want a laser on all of your guns, for no reason, I just really wanted one, so I made one and I textured it in substance painter. And honestly, this is when I realized how amazing my game was gonna look, because I'm gonna end up going over all the placeholder things such as the map and the enemies, and I'm gonna make them look just as good as the arms, the SMG, and the shotgun. I also made your health be displayed on the glowing parts of your arms because, well, it looks cool and you're a robot, so I can get away with not having to explain it. And I made you and the enemies health switch when you transform. And as you can see, I'm completely destroying these enemies. Definitely not because they can't move or fight back at all, I'm just built different. Anyways, I taught them how to move, and they quickly developed a strategy. Go halfway through the ground and try swarm the player while not using the perfectly good weapons they're holding. I'm not gonna lie, I'm impressed with their intelligence, as I'm pretty sure they've already surpassed me. But once I taught them how to shoot, that's when I got a real taste of what the game's gonna be like. And when I tell you I enjoyed it, I mean it. Just how I would enjoy if you subscribed, because we're so close to a thousand subs. In my last devlog, AC265- AC623- this guy suggested the main mechanic should be called G-Switch, so it's now called G-Switch. And Sam Anderson kindly suggested I should add a time slow effect when I do it, and I really love that idea, so I added it straight in. And now when you G-Switch, you feel like such a main character for like one second. I really want you to feel like John Wick in this game, and I think I'm delivering on that pretty well so far. If you like the thought of me stealing your ideas, just leave a comment and chances are the idea will be mine within minutes. I made the map a lot bigger so that I can test things out and I added a couple more obstacles to keep the fights interesting. Now, I know the enemies are dumb as rocks at the minute, which is probably an insult to rocks, but that's a problem for future me. There should also be a Steam page up for the game if Jeremy doesn't reject it again. So drop a wishlist for Wishbone. See what I did there? No, never mind. I changed the colors of the glowing parts of your arms and the enemies so it better fits the style of the game. But everything seemed a little bit too dark so I also added some slight screen effects to make it look better for the thumbnail. And the marketing of course. I mean, players. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know Unity Particle System could do this, but I wanted to make Gecko Man happy, and don't worry, I'll be adding even more in the future. And just to show you how much better these new assets look, here's a side by side between the old ones and the new ones. And to demonstrate how easily I can make stuff, let's say a subscribe button, all I do is go in here, click a couple of buttons, and wow, it's done. While making the Steam page, I had to make some pretty awesome art, and I wanted to show you it. This is my concept for the head of the robot you play as, and I thought it looked cool until I looked at it from the front, and it's just... meh. So if you have any other idea on what the head should look like, please let me know, because I'm considering a carbon fiber skull, but I don't know how I feel about that. In my previous version of the game, I had some very mediocre animations, but I'm not mediocre. Uh, I'm not. Um, 
So by the next devlog, I hope to have practiced my animation skills a little bit and have one or two placeholder reloads to show off to you guys. I'll also make the enemies less stupid and make a couple more weapons, an enemy model and I'll work on the gameplay loop. And do you guys want a demo for the game? Cause I could probably throw one together in the next couple weeks for you to just try it out. I've only been working on this for two weeks, which is insane. So imagine where it'll be in like two months. Now, I know you love my game Omnipresence already and can't wait to spread your wallet wide open for when it releases, so go wishlist it and subscribe for the next devlog. And as always, thank you for watching.